Hi guys, Scott Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In the previous video, we have seen how the fragment life cycle works. One of the code snippet that we had a look at in the previous video was this particular chunk of code where we were doing add to backstack. That particular line of code should be an indication that even fragments have a backstack. If you are aware, even activities have a backstack. So probably you may think that it is just like activity backstack, but it is much less trickier. Just to get some of the facts clear about fragment backstack, activity backstack is managed by the activity manager, but the fragment backstack is managed by the fragment manager. And that is why in the code you were seeing that we were getting hold of the fragment manager and then the fragment transaction to do the transaction of adding a fragment to the activity and unlike activity stack which is almost managed by the android platform itself in case of fragment the fragment back stack has to be managed by the developer so that is why in this video we will be spending time on fragment back stack if you recall the behavior that we had seen in the previous video when we had not added the add to back stack statement in the code and when we pressed the back button activity and fragment both together were removed from the screen however if i had kept this particular line then when i hit the back button first the fragment gets removed and then when i hit another back button then the activity gets removed so we are basically seeing this particular behavior when we are using backstack there could be a only a single fragment with the backstack or there could be multiple fragments in the backstack and whenever we do a back those individual fragments would get removed till you reach root activity and then finally when you do a another back that particular activity will also get removed however there is a possibility that you are working without a backstack in that case this is how usually i would like to represent and in that case if i want to add fragments on top of this is it really possible to do it if the first fragment is added on the activity without the back stack to add the next fragment do i have to remove the first fragment and then add the next fragment and in the same way to add the third fragment do i have to remove the second fragment and then add the third fragment these are all very interesting questions and we will try to explore them in this particular video through a demo this is the same code that i had been using in the previous video now i have modified certain things earlier we had only one fragment which was a fragment underscore sample layout now i have added a text view indicating number so that we can clearly identify which particular fragment it is and in the same way there is a fragment sample 2 and fragment sample 3 with the number 3 and as you can expect there would be three corresponding fragments this is fragment 2 which is inflating the fragment underscore sample underscore 2 layout file and then fragment 3 which is inflating fragment fragment underscore sample underscore three i am basically adding these three fragments in the main activity and this is the earlier code that we had written that is add fragment i have slightly modified the add fragment in this particular method now instead of simply adding sample fragment depending upon how many fragments are there in the back stack i want to add a particular fragment so if there are zero fragments in the back stack then i will add the sample fragment if there is already a one fragment in the back stack then i will add fragment two and so on and by default i will add always sample fragment and everything else remains same only the difference now is I have made the fragment manager and the fragment transaction as the instance variables so that I can reuse them in the whole activity instead of creating new instances every time again and again. However, you can observe that the fragment transaction is getting created every time add fragment gets called. I will come to this a bit later. Whenever you add a fragment, you want to check what happened to the fragment backstack. For that, there is a method called as add on backstack change listener for the fragment manager. Basically, through this, you are registering to listen to any changes that are happening to the fragment backstack. And the argument it takes is a on backstack change listener. The method that you have to override is on backstack changed and every time the backstack state changes i am just updating what is the count of the backstack entry and the method is fragment manager dot get backstack entry count so let us run this so when the 
activity gets started initially the fragment count is zero and that is why the backstack count is also zero and when i add a fragment you will now observe that the backstack count got increased to one and as i keep on adding fragments the count will keep on increasing whenever i do a back fragment is getting removed and fragment count in the backstack is coming down and that is as simple as that and now let me comment this line of code i am not using a backstack and let me try to run the application again i will add the first fragment as you can see since we are not using a backstack the fragment backstack count is zero and if i try to add fragment again the next fragment is not getting added because if there is no backstack the earlier mechanism of adding one fragment on top of one another doesn't work in that scenario we have to basically remove the first fragment and then add the second fragment so this simple add would not work you have to use the remove methods or replace methods of the fragment transaction and another aspect is if i had kept this particular line that is initialization of the fragment transaction in the on create activity then fragment transaction would get initialized only once then if i run the application the first time it would work fine the second time the application will crash and if you go to the logcat it will tell you that commit already called so what it basically telling is this commit has been already called on the fragment transaction you can call commit on the fragment transaction instance only once and if the commit has already been called you cannot call it again and again on the same fragment transaction instance and that is why even though you can create only single instance of the fragment manager but the fragment transaction has to be always new with this demo we have understood how android backstack works and we have also realized that just add is not sufficient we have to understand the usage of remove and replace methods of the fragment transaction in the next video we will explore these methods stay tuned that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye